The JetForm Builder plugin got updated to the 3.0 version. And in this video, we're going to overview its new cool features along with the recent changes. By the way, make sure you are subscribed if you haven't done this yet. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. This is Julia from Crocoblock and let's get to this. Let's start with one of the biggest Jetform Builder 3.0 changes, refactoring. When we started working on new features for this release, we reached a turning point where it became too hard to maintain the code. There was no other way but to rewrite everything. Now the code will have a more structured look, thus leading to unlimited possibilities. And besides, due to splitting scripts into separate components, only the minimum required number of them will be loaded for each form now. And secondly, reactivity. In short, this is a new approach for JetForm Builder to entering and reading data to or from form fields. Based on reactivity, we've managed to improve the working mechanism for calculated field and conditional block. Now as for the new features, I'm gonna start with the first one. In the new plugins version, you will see the updated interface of the conditional block. It got more user-friendly and now there are not only new operators for setting up conditional logic, but also the so-called OR operator. A cherry on top is the ability to remove HTML elements located inside a conditional block. As a bonus, hidden field values will not be sent in the form request. A render states. Forms for a login and a registration within one form? Yeah, you heard me right. And now you can implement such functionality using the new render states feature. Each state has a condition under which it can be added to the list of triggered states. There will be no additional render states in JetForm Builder itself. To add them, you need to add a conditional block containing the isRenderState statement to the form. And of course, to be able to switch between two different forms, you have to create an identical conditional block and set it to a different state. Forms are built inside the conditional blocks and to switch states, you will need to use the action button with the corresponding action type change render state. Prior to this release, we had just one legitimate method of field value validation, the call hook action. And one of its main cons was that it was performed only when submitting the form. So the new JetForm Builder version offers you a completely new logic and API to it, which allows adding or even writing rules according to which the field values should be checked. The validation feature will allow you to customize the error message text and now you can set validation separately for each block. Moreover, we've added six advanced rules that can be applied in any number to a text or a text area field. So now the user will be able to see the error message before clicking the submit button. However, I'd like to add a few words about server-side validation. This validation type stands apart because the verification itself is performed on the server. The check-in is performed when the focus is lost. The form sends a request to the server via the REST API endpoint, which conducts the check-in and returns the result. Such an operation can take one or two seconds depending on the configuration and server equipment capacity. As long as this request is in progress, the client cannot submit the form. In addition, you will be able to apply any PHP function to check the value. 
Implementation principles and instructions are provided in the plugin UI. And last but not least, now you can calculate everything. Simply speaking, with the Jetform Builder 3.0, you can add filters to the fields and HTML macros. For example, calculate characters in the text fields or set up the date and time field that way so the user cannot select the end day sooner than the start day. Also before, Jetform Builder supported only numeric operations in the calculated field block, meaning the result of processing the initial value was rigidly converted into a number. And now we can change the returned value format and concatenate strings. So, having learned how to combine filters, attributes and macros, you will be able to First of all, subtract or add a certain time frame from or to a date or time. Also determine the difference between dates or times and even combine several fields into one. And it's pretty much it for this overview. As you can see, the Jetform Builder plugin got even more cooler with the recent update release, so don't hesitate to check it out. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.